Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Historical Gamer once again. Been a while, um, well, not that long compared to how long it usually is between my other games. Um, doing something a little bit different, not really reviewing something per se. I mean, it's kind of a follow-up to the Panzer General, or sorry, Panzer Core um, game, which I reviewed before and had two videos on. First of all, I was going to go through the original stock campaign in a series of review reviews. Didn't end up doing that largely because my hard drive crashed and I lost my campaign progress, as well as all the recorded videos and commentaries associated with that. So, won't be doing that. Um, behind you, uh, the image here is me actually playing through the uh, French uh, Low Countries campaign battle, so uh, you'll see a little bit of that right now. Um, but what I wanted to talk about is Panzer Corps Africa Corps. Or, or, what is it? Panzer... Panzer Corps Africa Corps. Which is another expansion. Um, the Panzer Corps series has had a couple of expansions already. They've been mainly just battle packs, um, which have added on to the existing game. Um, the existing game is something 20 plus scenarios, which lead you through, um... You know, the war as you progress, depending on how you play, you either go a, a more traditional route or you go to, you know, more extremes. If the Germans had been incredibly successful, you can even see potentially the invasion of the United States. Follows the campaign pretty closely to the way that uh, the original Panzer General series went. Um, now, the one thing... The one thing about it is, you know, it, it left out the Africa Corps element. Uh, it had a good number of scenarios, had, uh, you know, through Poland, through Norway, France, you know, hypothetical invasions of England, the campaign in Russia, um, the Balkans, um, and then possibly the United States. But it didn't have the Africa Corps, which personally was one of the most fun group of scenarios for me in the original Panzer General series, was those scenarios where you're basically playing as Rommel. Um, the original Panzer, the Panzer General series, it kind of started a little bit late. I think the first scenario was late 41, early 42. So the actual uh, campaign in Africa had been going on a long time, but it kind of started with uh, the Africa Corps' significant uh, deployment to Africa and uh, the building of Rommel. Basically, you ran a scenario where if you were really successful, you could go to El Alamein. If you weren't so successful, there was a, a precursor to El Alamein. If you were successful at El Alamein, you could go into the uh, Middle East through Palestine, and actually it would link up and form a uh, Russian campaign where you'd go into Russia through the Caucasus, um, which was actually interesting to me. I mean, there was a lot of strategy historically that went on in Iran um, to kind of build up a buffer state for the south of Russia, because if a second front could be opened up against Russia, um, it could threaten the entire oil supply, not through the Middle East, actually, but through the Caucasus. That's where a ton of Russia's oil is and, and was at the time. Um, a lot of the actual oil discoveries in the Middle East hadn't been made yet. There were some, um, but they were largely unexploited. A lot of the discoveries had been made just before the war. Uh, Saudi Arabia's big discovery in 1936. Um, and uh, a lot of, like I said, a lot of the oil discoveries in the Middle East really hadn't taken shape yet. So the Middle East, while having oil, was actually kind of in some regards secondary to Russia's oil supplies, which were um, the second largest known oil reserves in the world at the time. But I digress. Uh, Panzer Corps has released several downloadable contents. They've released uh, a grand campaign, um, starting with a 1939 pack, 1940, 1941, 42, 43. Um, the Grand Campaign goes 39, 40, 41, 42, then in 43 it shifts to just being Eastern Battles. Um, and then there's a 44 and a 45 as well. Um, so there actually are multiple, uh, downloadable contents. Um, now they don't link up with the Grand Scenario, which I'm okay with, because the, the, in large part, the scenario is based on historical battles or campaigns, which is you know, not really going to fit so well into a dynamic campaign like exists in the Panzer Corps series. Um, but getting back to the heart of the matter, they're releasing an expansion called Africa Corps, which is going to be a standalone expansion, so if you don't own the original, you don't have to own it, or the other ones are just add-ons for like five bucks. So technically this doesn't fall under downloadable content, it's almost like a sequel. What I will say bugs me about the concept though is that the battles will not link up with the original one, I know why they're doing it, but it does bug me because, you know, 
the Africa Cork scenarios, and I'm sure I'll buy it, but the Africa Cork scenarios were the most appealing to me of the, as I said, of the original Panzer General series, and it just doesn't feel right that you have this whole war going on and Africa's just totally ignored. I know Germany never really deployed large forces there, it, it got a, a ton of fame and popularity, but I think the most troops that Germany ever deployed to Africa were something like 9 to 12 divisions at least during the actual Africa Corps campaign, I, it may have increased when when the Americans landed in Western Africa and then advanced and, and the Germans were pushed back into Tunisia and eventually evicted. They may have increased the number of forces at that point, but I know that I believe the largest amount uh, Rommel ever had facing Ra or ever had facing Montgomery in uh, Libya and Egypt was somewhere between nine to twelve divisions. It was a pretty small force for the Germans. Uh, the Italians had you know, hundreds of thousands of troops, which definitely augmented the army. It's not like they had a very small force. But when you compare that to Russia, where Germany never had any fewer than 200 divisions on the line, or, um, you know, Western Europe after the invasion, where Germany always had at least around 60 divisions on the line, definitely pales in comparison to, uh, to the main theaters. But still, it added an element of realism, an element of wholeness, and the fact that that was missing from the Grand Campaign is probably my biggest complaint with the original game. And now this standalone expansion is focusing solely on Africa, and I know why they didn't link them. It would be a really, really difficult task to merge a 20... One thing, I don't know if I mentioned it, there are going to be over 20 new uh, scenarios, 24 scenarios in an Africa core campaign. So it's going to be a much more inclusive campaign, more detailed, smaller battles. It has to be more back and forth than the original Panzer General. So a much more Africa experience, um, which I will appreciate and I'm sure I will really enjoy. But the one downside I will say is the fact that it is not going to be linked with the main campaign. As I said, I understand why. I mean, Africa alone, given the scale that I told you being pretty small, the, the number of scenarios would make it almost as large as the actual grand campaign itself. But I still wish there was a way to merge the two. Um, and it just, it doesn't seem right to me to have Africa totally left out of the original game, grand campaign and there being no link to connect them. It almost seems like it was either left out intentionally in a sequel bait when the original game came out, or as intent for downloadable content, or just in the rush to produce the game. I mean, they produced a really good game, and it came out, it was relatively bug-free, I never experienced any crashes. Um, they made a very good product, but I, I guess this kind of goes toward, well, what are we what are we seeing now with downloadable content? As I said, it's standalone, so I don't know if it falls into the downloadable content, really, but, I mean, it was clearly something that was left out of the original release, and I just can't help but get annoyed when developers leave things out of initial releases of games, which clearly should be in there. It's not like Africa should be ignored. It wasn't in the original Panzer Journal series, and a lot of the scenarios in this game are totally based off of that. And, you know, S Slytherin never could have known, or um, Old Lord's Games, the actual coders, never would have known that it would have been as successful as it was, but it still bugs me that it seems like and, and this is a minor case of it, but it still seems like games are not fully produced to the extent that they used to be because of the ability to add downloadable content or because of plans for sequels. I would really just, it, it bugs me and I would love to see game developers develop full-fledged, you know, entire games and, you know what, release a sequel, release downloadable content, but don't leave stuff out of the original game because of it. Uh, the first series of downloadable content for Panzer Core was really a perfect example of what downloadable content should be. They released a pretty good campaign, minus the glaring uh, absence of Africa, and they had a bunch of uh, you know inexpensive battle pack pack maps that were you know released separately. You know five dollars, and it gave you you know a bunch of battles in 1939, then another five dollars to a bunch of battles in 1940, 41. So I mean it was really something that wouldn't have fit into the grand campaign. It would have made just, just honestly far too large. I mean you don't want to see an 80 scenario campaign. Well I would, but I'm sure most gamers probably for this type of game, more of a beer and pretzel strategy game, might not want to see that. Um, and I guess it's just something that, you know, that worked and I kind of feel like Africa, I don't know if they intended it the whole time, but for one reason or another, there was this glaring absence of having Africa in the campaign at all, and it really bugs me.
And I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna cut this video short. Um, kind of getting myself hammered in, in France, or I will be about to be. Um, didn't set this one up terribly well. But, um, yeah, those are my thoughts on Panzer Corps. I'll give a couple other overview. It's, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna have 20 new units, including gliders, which is gonna be pretty cool. I think that would have fit probably better in the original campaign, especially for the, uh, when the Allies counterattack, those scenarios. But still, it's nice to see that they're going to be having over 20 new units, gliders like I mentioned, flamethrower tanks, which should be interesting because it's kind of a more broad um, strategy game. I would have assumed those types of units, which only would have made up a couple of tanks in a company or a battalion, would have been simulated already, but it's a nice improvement. Uh, I guess they worked on the AI, um, new desert weather and whatnot, which would make sense because it's going to be in a desert. Um... I guess the core units can now include minor nations like the Italians, which is a must for any campaign in Africa. As I said, the Germans never had more than 9 to 12 divisions in Africa. The Italians had hundreds of thousands of men. Um, so, you know, maybe 100,000 Germans were in Africa at any one point compared to 200 to 300,000 Italians. I mean, the Italians, they get no press, but they were definitely the larger forces in Africa. Um new music which you know nice can't really i honestly don't care um i guess more varied scenarios not quite sure what that means more online maps which i haven't actually played yet uh, i'm thinking about maybe doing an online game and doing a review of it but we'll see we'll definitely end up get picking this game up and reviewing it anyway those are my thoughts on the whole africa core kind of series dilemma will you have it and um I'm gonna go ahead and leave this uh, leave this scenario kind of in progress. If you want to know, I get my ass handed to me, and by the end, I'm just kind of slodging, and I kind of would have to give up or lose by around turn 15. Didn't set this one up so well. Not enough armor or mechanized units up top. But anyway, um, yeah. If you like this video, like, subscribe, follow, and uh, Panzer Corps Africa Corps comes out July 31st. You can get it at Matrix um, or Slytherin. They're one company, but they have two different websites now. Um, definitely anticipated to be a good release. Slight apprehensions about kind of the way everything was done, but still, I will get it. It will be a great game. July 31st, less than a week away, so, uh, you know, if this game looks interesting, pick it up and uh, like, subscribe, rate, follow. Oh, one other thing I did want to give a, a thanks to everyone. I went over 20,000 views a couple days back. Um, just wanted to mention that. I honestly never thought I'd get to 20,000 views. I'm not one of the big internet or online reviewers or anything like that. My reviews are much more off the cuff. I wouldn't pretend to be as polished as some of those guys, but I appreciate the uh, support. Um, there's been a lot of good discussion on some of my uh, some of my uh, reviews, and it's nice to see the enthusiasm keep it up. Um, uh, hope to keep making these for some time. I've, I've got over 50 subscribers now. Uh, never intended to, you know, have huge numbers. I, I honestly didn't think I'd ever get more than 20 subscribers or maybe a couple thousand views. And uh, the amount that I have gotten, and, and a large number of them have come from my first review of this game, almost half. Um, you know, it's really uh, means a lot to me. I mean, it's 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 something I enjoy doing. Um, but I never really expected anyone to actually watch the videos. And for one reason or another, you know, several of my videos have actually done relatively well, at least according to what I was expecting anyway. Um, and I really appreciate it. So um, keep up the the views, keep up the great work, guys, and um, I'll uh, keep making videos. Uh, and if you happen to enjoy them, like I said, subscribe, like, and uh, you all uh, have a great day.